Hi there, Ruben here for Native Instruments, and in this video I'll be taking a look at sounds from Project Sam's Symphobia 3 and 4, Lumina and Pandora. I'll be composing and deconstructing a track using lots of patches from the two NKS libraries. A quick side note, if you'd like to see other Symphobia collections in action, I've also put together a video covering Symphobia 1 and 2 in a purely orchestral context. Check it out on the Native Instruments YouTube channel. Here's my cue using Symphobia 3 and 4, starting off in a fantasy style and quickly moving towards more action-oriented territory. I'm making use of lots of multis and combos here, alongside orchestral effects, rhythms, percussion and legato soloists. So let's dive in, track by track, showing exactly which patches and articulations I've used. First up, I want to emphasise that most of the patches I've used haven't had any changes from their default loadups, so you can hear what you're getting right out of the box. Of course, the editing functions on board Lumina and Pandora are many and varied, so I'll touch on those as well as we go along. Concentrating on the more grand and fantastical nature of scoring, Symphobia 3 Lumina contains over 80 gigabytes of orchestral and choral sounds, alongside plenty of solo instruments that excel at legato styles. Lumina's meticulously sampled content includes brass, strings, woodwinds, percussion and vocals. The library is full of expressive articulations and performance techniques. Beyond that, Lumina also features a unique collection of multis, soundscapes and textures, often with full orchestrations spread out across the keyboard in mixable sections. Version 2 of Lumina modernises the experience with a slew of updates, a new engine design, all-in-one browser and adaptive control for tempo-synced crescendos, rolls and rises. In total, I've got 9 tracks of Lumina, the first six are a selection of Lumina's orchestrations and multis. Each is either a playable full orchestral texture or thematic combination of many of the Lumina instruments laid out across the keyboard. This texture has a fantastical vibe. And like all the textures, you can solo out different orchestral sections. This multi contains a key split of tutti orchestra, solo clarinet, oboe, grand cassa and cymbal. All mixable on the interface. Or you can use the NKS controls with your native instruments hardware to select mixer slots and change the parameters. As well as traditional instruments, mutated textures are also a part of Lumina. Along with twisted dystopian synths, and ethereal pads with an organic orchestral vibe. This track combines Celtic harp, celeste, bell tree, double bass and sordino strings, all in one patch. Use the onboard browser to choose multis, instruments and articulations, or browse by genre, all with audio preview snippets.
want to add your own combination of sounds, unlock the multi here and make new combinations. Tutti Orchestra is a great workhorse patch, with the whole orchestra playing a variety of regular articulations and extended techniques in both long and short variations. Lumina also contains expressive soloists with authentic legato transitions leading from one note to the next. These include alto flute, oboe, B-flat clarinet, bassoon, three different recorders, tin whistle, soprano voice, and B-flat trumpet, as I've used here. One final track from Lumina, a gentle celeste. Now onto the meat and potatoes of the second part of the queue, using Symphobia 4 Pandora, one of Project Sam's most exciting and aggressive libraries. Designed for action, sci-fi, horror and beyond, the 140GB library of sounds are hard-hitting, sometimes dissonant and always turn heads. The team at Project Sam recorded all sorts of different lengths of cinematic rises, swooping falls and earth-shattering crescendo, so that they'll sync to pretty much any tempo. In addition, there are experimental sound design options, orchestral pulses and rhythms, pre-designed combos, full 2 tonal patches, and lots of epic percussion. So much more than just an orchestral effects library. The number of variations and customization is key, with five mic channels, mixing controls, and many more parameters for shaping the playback. NKS controls are in full effect, with lots of options for microphone mixing, syncing, and effects all controlled under your fingers using Native Instruments hardware. This track features suspenseful horn and trombone bends. It's super fast to compose with Pandora, thanks to the versatile adaptive sync options. These can form the performance and timing of sounds to your door's BPM and bar lengths. Choose a number of bars, or an option to trigger on a downbeat. This short piano is specially designed for action. Woodwind grace notes add embellishment. Low unison strings punch through the mix. I've exclusively used the pre-mix mic settings in all tracks, but there are four other mic position signals that you can mix yourself. These performed string pulses are much more realistic than trying to program your own with multi-sampled short notes. The built-in bending adds suspense, along with faster note divisions selectable via key switch. Including a triplet option. These playable string pulses are pretty cool on their own, but add in one of Pandora's pulsating synth layers and the action is really amped up.
Andorra also comes with lots of heavy hitting drums. Single hits and tempo synced rolls from Grand Casa, Timpani, Tam Tam, Toms, and more cinematic percussion. It's the same story with metals and cymbals, again with adaptive sync handling rolls. Let's focus on brass for a sec, the triumphant rally call of many blockbuster tracks. Pandora features brass sections recorded as ensembles, along with dedicated horn and trombone instruments. These can play at the very highest dynamics, but also perform with some restraint at lower key velocities. Rips, trills, swells, crescendo, diminendo and sforzando can all be played. This is the low brass ensemble. Like the strings, brass also has pulse patches. These are the trumpets with a little manual pitch bend dialed in. Pandora's combo patches are really interesting, with the loaded instruments able to communicate with one another so that everything syncs up. In the case of this patch, as the adaptive sync is changed in the Tutti Orchestra section, the harp, glissando and percussion rolls will match the timing. It's the same here with these three string performances. Lastly, I want to show that many of the regular combo patches also have fun mutated versions, with the parameters of their FX panels dialed up. This is the same patch as the last track, but with FX turned on. As I said at the beginning, most of these tracks come straight out of the box. In fact, I haven't even panned anything. With some patches I've increased the built-in reverb slightly to push the sound back into the room and this one track has external EQ to control some of the low-end rumble. The master uses Isotope's Ozone, with the automatic master assistant doing its thing to get a good idea of what a professional master could sound like. I hope you've enjoyed this track breakdown. Thanks for watching. For more information about Symphobia 3 Lumina and Symphobia 4 Pandora, check out the NKS Partner Shop at nativeinstruments.com. To finish up, here's the track in full. No chat, no tweaking. Enjoy. <laughs>